you make that? Yeah, I had a hard time. What's the problem? Now, see, this wing was hard to put, and yeah? I didn't put this wing here. Oh, the wing there. You look there. The problem is if you put it right there, the balance is going to be off. Oh, I forgot about the balance. Felix, I, I, I need to go to the office. I will be back right away. I'm sorry, I gotta go. How's it doing right now? One of the dials seems to be out of sync with the others.
Hi, we are Clocker Square Team and welcome Behind the Clock. Our story is set in London in 2127. Harry is the timekeeper and is in charge of the maintenance of Big Ben. One night, the tower shows signs of failure and Harry must go to prevent a disaster from happening. Throughout this storytelling, my goal was to illustrate the most beautiful and iconic day of my life, which was the day I reunited with my father after several years. In pre-production, I developed a customized lookup table using Nuke and Resolve. It helped establish a consistent visual style throughout the whole production of the movie. As a DOP, I created dynamic lighting to represent the mood we were after and the natural changing of time, as it is shown in our story. This was used as a reference to light the CG renders in order to blend them correctly with our actor. As a first lady, I ensured the efficient operation of the pre-production all through our five-day shooting. I worked closely with the director and the rest of the team to maintain a structured environment and keep the production running smoothly while also allowing creative flexibility. I imagine a complete world set around time itself. I developed a couple of concept art to define the look of this universe. I designed an oversized city in a smoky atmosphere and I placed the Big Ben in the center. I also worked on the previews to set up all the camera movement, layout, editing and the film optimization for all the team. I elaborated the set dressing of the environment both inside and outside of Big Ben. My artistic approach was to maintain a logical shape of the city of London like the Thames and streets. I added a lot of detail by scattering and painted techniques to achieve realism. Due to the high number of layouts, I model a large quantity of assets in a short period of time. To recreate London and the interior of Big Ben in sync with the film Art Direction, I blended Victorian architecture with references gathered from the city and incorporated sci-fi elements. For the main asset, I wrote to reproduce Big Ben with some modifications to match the film's aesthetic. To optimize the scenes and achieve sufficient levels of detail, I created three LUDs and developed two shading versions using different software depending on the shot. The biggest challenge was to create realistic wet elements in close-up shots. To achieve this, I created a rain look dev using an animated alpha created by Arifix. I used Python in both Maya and Houdini to streamline the production process. Basing everything on a tool using transform data from the layout to replace every asset with an instance from the kit bash. The tool also dynamically created LODs based on the distance from the camera, applied shaders on the whole scene, or proxy everything out of view. I also used Python and Houdini to avoid repetitive tasks like the creation of as files. One of the main challenges of the movie was to create a futuristic London night covered by thick mist and torrential rain. So, we spent a good amount of time searching for a good balance between the lighting and compositing in order to work as efficiently as possible and also to get the right mood we were looking for. As the city lived in the dark, we needed to render fairly bright beauties to reduce noise and make sure we had the necessary information for comp. The dark aspect of the movie also gave us the possibility to play with contrast and dark areas to direct the viewer's eye. In addition to that, it was also interesting to give a sensation of scale using small light sources in the depths of the city. To identify the light sources of the city, I created a tool that allowed us to create holograms quickly. These were then rendered separately and rejected into the volumetric in Nuke. Furthermore, by splitting each element, we had more control over our CG shots and we were able to improve the realism and credibility during the compositing. To fully immerse the audience in our sci-fi London ambience, we had to make it rain. I developed a range of rain interaction setups, including surface runs, dripping, splashes, exhaustion pipes, and custom wet maps for shading. To visually convey the theme of time, I created two magical effects, the time freezing wave and the time lapse. 
With the time freezing wave, I optimized the setup to allow for quick retakes and achieve a realistic magical look through extensive look depth and compositing. Meanwhile, I combined procedural methods and VEX coding with a simple pop simulation to achieve stability and predictability in the time-lapse effect. Our goal was to make the CG City and the Big Ben's interior look realistic. Thanks to the light groups, we shaped the image to fit the dark atmosphere of a stormy night and enhance the gigantism inside the tower. We wanted the visuals to reflect the passage of time subtly. That's where the bokeh came into play. Starting with a spherical bokeh, we gradually transformed it into an anamorphic style in sync with the evolving narrative. For some specific shot, I decided to use DMP and reprojection techniques. This allowed me to improve the accuracy of the shot's details and also reduce my rendering time. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.